to another of our TBK travels. This time, Chester is going to another beach, starting with T that I can't pronounce. What's it called, Kevin? Tala Ujon. Tala Ujon. Tala Ujon is just down the coast from Nagtaba and near Takawaya, Kawaii. And uh, it was recommended to us by my next door neighbor, Benny. And uh, we came off the main road and then we traveled a little bit across country and now we're coming down 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 uh, to the beach and there's some spectacular views on the left which we'll uh, add for you a little bit later on when we edit the video so come with us none of us have been here before so let's see what the place is like okay we're here down on the beach now and we've paid our entrance fee it's 100 pesos her person, the dog is free, and um, we have a toilet. See off, but that's it. The bar and restaurant is closed. And it's a long deserted beach. I can see one, two, three people on the beach, apart from Kevin and Chester. And it's very white sand. Uh, it's a lovely sunny day. Um, the road is very steep that comes down. You can just see it here in the distance. And there's some islands off to sea. There's some boats as well, so I'm sure you could probably go island hopping and it uh, runs right the way down there as well so uh, very attractive beach very quiet beach uh, as we have come to expect in this southern part of Palawan so why do you all go to El Nido where it's crowded when you could have a beach like this all to yourself well here you go we're on a deserted Filipino beach and they're building a hotel why, why, why? Uh, so we got the noise of the um, electric equipment, drills and all that kind of stuff shattering the silence of this beautiful beach. But I'm sure one day it will be a beautiful place to come and stay. In case you're wondering where Chester is, well, he's with Kevin down the other end of the beach but he's coming back now. He's realised he's left his dear daddy behind. But there is a dog on the way, so he might stop off and chat to him. He might sit in the shade under the tree. He certainly didn't want to come over the wooden bridge to get here. It looked a bit shaky. Okay, maybe he's not coming to see me after all. Okay, so we've swapped roles. I am now the cameraman and Tito Kevin is in charge of Chester and he's taking him for a little paddle on the beach. Um, there's a uh, hotel, I think, that we've just gone past, uh, which has lots of people sitting outside eating, but I have a feeling there's lots of four by fours. They've all come here and bought their own food with them. I don't think there's any restaurants down here, which is okay because we have food in the car, but we have to go back over the long bridge. The Chester doesn't like walking on. Okay, so I've been studying from the great videographers we have on the TBK team now. People like Noel, Fifi, Kevan, and um, Alvin. And I realise that they always do this little shot where they look at the sea. So you can see how clear and calm the sea is here and how lovely the white sand is. So no big uh, waves, uh, not suitable for surfing. Maybe okay for skimming, I think, Mr. Jack. What do you reckon? Long coastline with shallow uh, water coming in, so nice and smooth for skimming. And um, protected from behind uh, by these uh, hills and mountains that we came down. And uh, out at sea, some little islands. Down at the end of the beach, some trees and uh, few trees down here on the beach and there's Kevin uh, walking it's in shallow they're standing up so let's go and see what
Well, Chester's being very immaculate as usual. He keeps slipping his lead and going and stealing different people's food. Uh, and a man was feeding him bananas so he wouldn't leave him alone. And um, Kevin's just gone and caught up with him. And we're walking back down the beach now. We'd already done 3,000 steps by the time we got to the end of the beach. So I'm reckoning about 6,000, 7,000 steps by the time we get back to the car. The picnic is in the car and there isn't any food down here on the beach. So uh, we're going to have to navigate the uh, wooden bridge uh, walkway whatever you want to call it that Chester doesn't like uh, Kevin had to carry him for the last little bit of it uh, back to the car and then we'll sit in the car and we'll have our picnic and then we'll head back for home the time now is coming up to one o'clock it'll be gone 1 30 by the time we get back to the car and I'm starving hungry because I just had muesli for breakfast at I think five o'clock or six o'clock uh, when Chester woke up for the second time he uh, woke up about midnight coughing his poor little lungs out I think he's been smoking sneakily with Kevin Chester's been very immaculate he keeps escaping from his lead so I've asked Kevin to make the collar tighter so he can't go backwards and get out of it and next time We'll put him on his harness. I need to get Joanna to show me how it works. 